So it's March 2023 and that means that it's time once again for the March NARBC Reptile Expo right here in Tinley Park, Illinois. It is cold, very cold outside, very windy outside, hence I'm doing this intro within my vehicle. So this weekend in that building right over there at the Tinley Park NARBC Reptile Expo, you are going to see some of the most amazing reptiles and amphibians and reptile products from some of the most talented, amazing, and biggest names in reptile breeding. And because this is an NARBC Expo, I'm also going to dole out a whole new bag of Rattle On Awards. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. All right, let's start off March 2023, Tinley Park Reptile Expo, right here at my table. Check this out. We've got snakes. We've got more snakes. Look at this. We've got merch. We've got a Billy watching my table while I run around and film today. Yes. But we've got my books, my movies. Subscribe. But look at this. I brought back a ton of these really cool things from Madagascar and I'm selling them here. And I started with like a full table and these guys are selling. It's awesome. If you want one of these, uh, well, come here to Tinley, I suppose. And that's a 30 second version of my table here. Now we're gonna walk around and we're gonna see all the cool stuff that you can see here at Tinley Park. Reptile Expo, NARBC, March, 2023. Let's go. Dan the Turtle Man. Yes, sir. Today is your birthday. It is. Happy birthday. Thank you. I want everybody in the comments below to wish Dan the Turtle Man a happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank all right. You. Happy Thank birthday, you. brother. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, boy. So besides seeing all the amazing reptiles and amphibians that you can see here at Tinley Park, there's also a lot of other vendors that are coming up that don't sell animals that really should get their chance in the spotlight. And those are the reptile artists. And every time here at Tinley, there's another reptile artist that has a booth here. And I want to introduce you guys to one of the most incredible reptile artists here. All right, right by the front door, you've got Rockstar Parking right here. So I met you at Animal Con last year and I was blown away by the stuff that you had, by your talent. I bought some stuff from you there, which I love. It's in my uh, office right now. But I just want to highlight what you've got here because not only can you see just tons and tons of reptiles here, you can see and purchase some of the most incredible reptile art here. So look at this. This is a limited edition bronze rhino viper. And look at the colors that are in there. I mean, this is just amazing. And it's pure bronze. It's really heavy. You can get a workout lifting that up. This is just amazing. Look at the attention to detail in this. All right, I got to ask, how much is it? $4,000. Really? Yes. That's a lot cheaper than I expected. It's a limited edition of 15. All right, there you have it. $4,000 for this amazing solid bronze rhino viper. But it doesn't stop there. We've got a limited edition bronze rattlesnake here. Look at the detail on that. I mean, that is just real. Then we've got a cyclura over here. I mean, your talent is just unbelievable, and I'm in awe of it. Look at this. What, what's this one made out of? That's resin. It's a paint your own. Oh, it's so a paint your own. So the tail goes either direction. Look at that. And instead of taxidermy, you can paint the artwork. Look at these. This one hangs on your wall. That's great. And these are my favorite. So I got one of these from her at Animal Con. But these Viper plaques, they come in all sorts of colors. You can get green, you can get red, purple, blue. This is just amazing. And that's how they look on the wall right there. And then this one might be my favorite. Look at this, banded rock rattlesnake in a crevice. We even got the bands, the tail sticking out right there. That is just amazing. So Thank always you. a pleasure seeing you. Are you having Thank a good you. show? I am. Wonderful. My first time at Tinley, I'm excited. Love it, love it. Hopefully we'll see you here time and time again. I plan on it. Awesome, always great seeing you. Thank you. It's butt to gut in here. It's butt to gut. It's butt to gut. Over there. Butt to gut. Over here. Butt to gut. Over here. Butt to gut.
Hello, Garrett. You're a hard man to find at a reptile show, Dave. I would think you'd be like one of our banners. You can see from across the room. Well, no. you can, but I like to hide. What you got there? This is for you, my friend. Are you serious? Yes. This is a two-year-old, two and a half, half, closer to three, actually. Um, male, super dwarf, high percentage. He is an hey, ultra you, ivory, motley tiger, poss head snow. Dude. And uh, you remember that little girl you got for me? I do. So, girl? little backstory. There's David Levinson right over there. Little backstory. Uh, so, three years ago, you sold me a Parthenogenesis yep. Super Dwarf, right? Correct. She is thriving. She is huge. She yeah, is beautiful. She is awesome. She is my one of my favorite snakes. Very cool. And this is now her boyfriend. So, let's see if we can get her the completed life cycle. I love it. Dude, yeah, you are cool. awesome. This guy's got all incomplete dominant genetics, so... You can run them to her, you'll get like, I don't know, 32 different kinds of snakes in a clutch. Okay, so, uh, I am going into Retix. Especially Super Dwarf Retix, that is where it's at. Dude, well, you are a, awesome, thank you. As a bull you. snake guy, I think you'll enjoy these. He's, Absolutely. As you can see, he's about the size of a bull snake. And look at that, he has completely adopted me. Yes, that's it, he knows. I love it. Yep, I asked him earlier, Come who's on. your daddy, and he said Dave Kaufman. Come on, so. buddy. In honor of you, I'm going to name him Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it is time to give out the March 2023 NARBC Tinley Park Rattle On Awards. Just take a look at these amazing trophies that Sacred Gecko and Exotics has made. All right, guys, so Sacred Geckos and Exotics are the ones who are making these amazing trophies for the Rattle On Awards. We've got some changes here. Look at this. We've got Tinley Park in there. We've got the date. We've got the year. Now, each one of these awards is going to be unique to the NARBC Expo that I'm giving away the awards to. These are just absolutely amazing. Look at these. Man, they did such a good job with these. Those are just absolutely amazing, and we're gonna give those out right after this. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. So guys, when it comes to the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake here, you know, there is so many good things about ball pythons. They have brought so many people into our industry, and the downside is, is that before the ball python craze, there was a colubrid craze. And in that colubrid craze, there were so many morphs, so many colors, so many patterns, but because people started shifting their focus to ball pythons, unfortunately, those genes and colubrids have become quite rare, and maybe, hopefully not, but we may have lost a bunch of genes. So, to give the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake here, I'm showing some love to the colubrids. So I'm here at Scott's Great Snakes booth. Scott Hitchcock is Scott from Scott's Great Snakes. But I'm giving the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake to this dude. So this is a male chocolate California king snake. And you might be saying, Dave, why are you giving the Rattle On Award winner to a California king snake, especially one that may not have that wow factor that I usually look for in the Rattle On Award winner for best snake. Well, there's a reason why I picked this snake to be the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake. Back in the 90s, before the ball python craze, these were the craze. California king snake morphs were everywhere, along with corn snake morphs, milk snake morphs, and other morphs of colubrids. Well, then about 97, the ball python craze started and people stopped working with incredible colubrid genes to get into ball pythons, which that's the way that the market went, that's the way popularity went. The downside of that is that we are losing and may have lost a lot of really amazing genes in colubrids, especially California king snakes. And there's something about a California king snake aside from all the other king snakes, aside from all the other milk snakes, that just kind of has that perfect pet snake vibe. The California king snake is one of those perfect pet snakes. They're calm, they're gentle, you can find a few that are snappy, but they come in all sorts of color morphs, they come in all sorts of patterns. You can get really bleached black and white ones with different colored patterns, bars, stripes. But when you have a chocolate phase California king snake, these guys live up to their name chocolate. 
This looks like a living piece of chocolate licorice. Terrible, Dave. Terrible. Just terrible. But even the belly is chocolate. This is a solid chocolate brown California king snake. And to be honest, I looked around to see if there were other chocolate California king snakes here at Tinley, and well, frankly, I didn't see any. This is the only one that I've seen here. But when you have genetics in a snake that used to be so common, these used to be maybe 30 bucks each, to now, this is the only one here at Tinley. And this one is only $200. Their price reflects the rarity of the genes. If you haven't thought about working with California king snakes and the morphs that you can do, I really encourage you guys to look into California king snake and let's try to get some of those genes as common as they were 30 years ago, 20 years ago. Let's see if we can get those genes just as common in the future. So this is Scott Hitchcock from Scott's Great Snakes. So you are primarily working with colubrids here. And how long have you been working with colubrids? Uh, I've been working with colubrids uh, for 30 plus years. It's, it's mostly what I do. I mean, I've got a few other things, but you know, I've been working with cow kings and some Florida kings and different kings for mostly all of that time. I've always had king snakes in my collection, and I've just always thought these chocolates or hypermels are so cool. Um, as an adult, they really remind me of like an Australian king brown snake. Mm, for they real. just have that smooth brown look to them with no pattern and that shiny head and uh yeah i just think they're great i appreciate you keeping california king snakes and other colubrids genes alive in the hobby we need people like you thank you but this is exactly why this is my selection for the march 2023 rattle on award for the best snake here Tyler. Dave. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> I like your hair. Thank you. Yeah, it matches like, the purple behind you. I like your hair. Well, my hair is awesome. Yeah, it's always yeah. good. Awesome. Always awesome. looking good. Good, good, <laughs> good. Well, good talk. See yeah, ya. anyways, <laughs> bye. <laughs> so when it comes time to give out the Rattle On Award for the best new breeder, you know, there's a lot of different things that I look for in giving away this award in this category. They have to be relatively new, only been doing it a couple of years, but there's another part to it in that this has to be either their first or second, maybe third time vending Tinley. So I found a husband and wife team over at ECW Reptiles. They have a really interesting story in that this is only their second time vending Tinley, but they actually have a lot of experience breeding snakes. All right, so I'm here at ECW Reptiles with Eric and Katie. So we were talking and you guys really aren't new breeders but you're back to being new breeders so you started breeding 30 years ago yes and so what were you breeding 30 years ago well like everyone else we just had a little bit of everything i think our first things we ever bred was a cal king sure and then we jumped from that right in the boas right in the boas yeah okay <laughs> all right and then you got out of it for a while yes we raised we bred children you bred children. <laughs> much more expensive and much more, yeah, much more cleanup. And then you got back into it. When did you get back into it? Was that 2016? 2016. Hard and heavy in 2016. Okay. So you do a lot of colubrids, and I see a lot of California king snakes. I see a lot of corn snakes here. Is that primarily what you're specializing in is colubrids? Colubrids for the most part. I got a handful of ball pythons at home. Still have a couple of boas. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, let's take a look at some of the cool colubrids you got here. Sweet. So right here we got the pyros. This is an Arizona Mountain King, but this is an albino, which is so cool. And I remember back in the day, these were so exceptionally rare and everybody wanted these. And then the albino came out and it was a game changer. So how long have you been working with these? Uh, a little over a year. A little over a year, okay. Yep. I got into them last year. I had a uh, block eye a couple years ago and got out of them got back into those as well. There's a very Tim Burton feel to an albino <laughs> pyro, isn't there? There is. This is actually from the holdback rack. This is the holdback rack, okay. Look at that. I mean, look at the perfect stripe on this corn snake. So what are we looking at here? It's a caramel stripe, but uh, there's something else going on with there it there. There certainly is. That it does not look like any 
caramel stripe I've seen. That stripe is immaculate, and the color is very unique for being a caramel. And then over here, we've got the reason why everybody loves corn snakes, those bright reds, those oranges. Just an absolutely fantastic looking snake. What's this morph here? This looks like we got motley. Hey, go back in there, buddy. Just a regular albino motley. An albino motley. Pet castani. For those of you who don't know, you see a spot here, a spot here, and then you kind of see this weird pattern going down and a spot and a spot. Having that weird pattern is where that motley gene comes in. So motley is basically a really funky or motley pattern. That's where the name motley corn snake comes from. But that is just an amazing snake. And I think that a lot of people, again, there's a theme to this video. A lot of people are overlooking these really awesome colubrids and the genes that we have in them. And so if you want to get into colubrids, corn snakes, California king snakes, we still have some amazing genes in this hobby to work with. So not only are you guys best new breeders, but look at your display. You know, a lot of people come, they put the deli cups just on the table. You've got these really cool displays. You could also win like best booth here with these displays. You got these lights, you got, did you make these? I did. You did. Look at these displays. We're trying to utilize more vertical space. Absolutely. Your displays are really on point. And <laughs> you've got these really cool snap bracelets here. Those are the biggest sellers. I, of course, <laughs> of course. I look forward to seeing you guys here in 10 years, right here. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are producing in the future. Thank you. Awesome, Thanks guys. Thanks a lot, Dave. So, yes, these are new breeders that have 30 years of experience, but it's only their second Tinley after they got back into breeding reptiles. And that's why ECW Reptiles is the March 2023 Rattle On Award for the Best New Breeder. Hey guys, I just want to break into this video real quick to show you this. Look at the size of this Euromastix. This is a Dave-sized Euromastix. This is one of the most amazingly big, beautiful Euromastix. Look at how big and puffy he is, just like me. Oh man, this is my spirit animal right here. Thanks guys, see ya. So, uh, if you've been watching my videos before, you know that the presence of a Catalia means that it's now time to give the Rattle On Award winner to the best lizard. Cat, what have you found? Well, I guess you guys will have to come see. Let's go see. Let's go see. All right, so where are you taking us? So, we are going to Rack House, and they have some very amazing geckos, but this gecko is super duper special, and this I'll show you why. This is a super duper gecko. Super duper, super duper, super, super duper special. special. And we are going to the Rack House. Yes. So, we are at Rack House, and Kat, mm -hmm. finally, show us what you got. So, this gecko is very special. This here is Potato. And Potato is a gargoyle gecko owned by Paul at Rack House. And this gecko is very old. Um, she's probably the oldest gecko at the show, if I were to guess. Um, I, I would say the oldest gecko known. The oldest gargoyle the oldest gecko, gecko known. known. Yeah. Um, she's projected to be, I mean, he knows for sure that she's at least 40 years old. 40 so years he old. can confidently say. That, that gecko is older than you are. Yeah, that gecko is older than I am. But she's beautiful and she's a little chunky, but she's very old, so she's very healthy. And I think once they reach a certain point of age, it's like kind of hard to keep the weight off of the geckos. So she's very healthy and she's beautiful. And that's why her name is Potato. And that's why she's called a potato. Yeah. She looks like a potato. Yeah. So if you've watched previous videos from here at Tinley, I've actually featured Potato on some of those videos. And listen, it wouldn't be Tinley without coming here to Rack House to see Potato. Definitely. And they're always in the same spot. They're always in the back corner off to the right when you walk in. Mm -hmm. And the next time you're at Tinley, you've got to come and say hello to Potato, <laughs> the oldest known gargoyle gecko possibly in the world. And definitely at this booth. Definitely. Right? Did I narrow that down enough? Yes. From the world <laughs> to this booth? And she's always hanging out on the table. She she just chills on the table the whole show, so it's awesome. 
So in the past, I've chosen geckos based on a number of factors, and usually for me it's color because I really love me a beautifully colored gecko. And Potato here, I mean, she's a black and white gecko, which is gorgeous, but that's not why I've chosen her. It's because of her age, because she's iconic, and she is just... She's just like she's, a celebrity. She's a celebrity That's gecko. exactly it. She is a celebrity gecko, but if you go to New Caledonia, this is how wild gargoyle geckos actually look. Yeah, I think uh, that's amazing. And absolutely amazing. So all the reds and the whites and all the different colors we have, that's all from selective breeding. This is what would be known as a wild type gargoyle gecko, and frankly, I think that makes her a little bit extra special. I agree with that. <laughs> she's so cool. She really is. And chunky. And chunky. And chunky. She's a chunky monkey. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. You know what? This gecko loves me. Look at the way she's looking at me with those big, pouty, puppy eyes. You think so? You think so? Yeah, this gecko loves me. Okay. Me in particular. Just you, not me. Yeah. So, because she's so iconic, she's such a celebrity gecko, Miss Potato here. So, that's why Miss Potato here is going to be my pick for the March 2023 Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. All right, Mr. Steve Nelson is going to show us something really, really awesome, really, really quick. Oh, that is so disturbing. This <laughs> right, is, I know. This is the wrong channel for that. Go My to Strange bad, Adventures guys. if you want to My see weird guys. stuff like that. <laughs> All yeah, right. dude, it's been a great show, man. It, uh, hasn't it? Oh, it's been amazing, yeah, man. Yeah, it really has. All right, I got an hour and a half left to finish this video. I got to run. Make Continue. it happen later, see you, bye. Peace. So if you are watching YouTube, then you know who this guy is. This is Dan the Turtle Man. And if you were watching my video from Daytona last year, correct? Yeah, yeah. Last year, Dan gave out the Rattle On Award for the best turtle. Well, here at March 2023, Tinley Park, because Dan is so into turtles, he's going to give away the Rattle On Award for a brand new category for best amphibian. And if you're wondering why Dan isn't giving the Rattle On Award for the best turtle, comment below and let us know why you think Dan is not giving away the Rattle On Award for the best turtle here. Comment below, let us know what you think. There's a reason, but comment below, let us know what you think. I abstain. Let's go take a look at this frog. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at this frog. Look at that the boy. That is a chubster of a frog. Look at the size of him. There is no other animal I would rather give this prestigious award to other than something that looks so impossibly stupid, so voluptuous, so large and uh, absent-minded, I relate far too much to this animal in all of his glory. Are you talking about the frog? <laughs> all right, so this is a giant pixie frog. And if you're wondering why they're called pixie frogs, it's not pixie like, hey, I'm a fairy. Well, that should have been your line. But, it's Pixie because of their Latin name, Pixie Say Phallus, so Pixie for short. But, can you imagine this frog like with these little pixie wings and a little pixie tutu? I, I believe this animal to be as beautiful as any fairy there could possibly be. If I, you, I agree. If you look at this animal and you don't think that this is the new definition of beauty, Ooh, la, la. you're wrong. I agree. I agree. I mean, just look at this chubster. He's so big and so fat. Here, hold up his belly so we can all see his belly. Look at this big fat belly. I am so jealous of this frog because he has this big fat belly and he just doesn't care. That is a perfect, perfect. Rattle On Award winner perfect. for the best amphibian here at Crosstown Exotics. A pixie frog. These are just awesome frogs. What, what is this? What is this guy eating? Small children? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike uh, from Crosstown Exotics. What is he eating? We're giving him uh, smelt fish, cocktail shrimps, uh, hornworms, uh, occasional large mouse. Uh, we try to avoid feeding him just rodents because it's not good for uh, their liver. They go fatty liver disease if they're fed nothing but rodents. Gotcha. So because this animal is big, dumb, and beautiful. That is the reason that this animal is the Rattle On Award winner for Best Amphibian at NARBC Tinley 2023, March 2023. The Best New Amphibian, which is a new category. If you would like to see this category offered at other NARBC shows, he doesn't apparently. His nickname's Ooh, R. Kelly. That was a lot of pee just <laughs> there. But if you want to see more uh, Rattle On Award winners for Best Amphibian, comment below, let me know, I will do more. Uh, this guy is 
setting the bar high. Yeah, he's setting the bar really high and setting the P really low. <laughs> <laughs> so sadly, another Tinley has come to an end. Saddest part of Tinley is saying goodbye to everybody, but everybody's breaking down, everybody's going home, getting ready for the next Tinley or the next NARBC show, which is probably in July at Schaumburg. I don't know, I will put a link to NARBCs in the description below if you'd like to come to an NARBC show. That is where to go to find it. But here's a little tip to make your life easier when you come to an expo like this. Bring cash. Cash is king. You can get better deals on reptiles if you have cash. But most of these vendors here at these expos, they're small business owners. And the fees that come along with those credit cards can really dig into the profits of a small business. So when you come to an expo like this, bring cash. There's ATMs out in the lobby if you need that, but cash is king at these expos. So a little tip for you. So anyway, I would like to thank Dan the Turtle Man and Kat Aaliyah for being guest judges in the Rattle On Awards. Really big thank you to Bill Stewart for watching my table today while I ran around and filmed this video. And guys, as always, there's lots more reptile adventures coming up. So until next time, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. <laughs>